Hey, Master Gardeners, root 10 cicadas are causing so much damage. The question is, what do I do with my tree? Well, maybe you have trees that look like these. Over here, I'm at the Hartford Glen Environmental Center, and the oak tree that's in front of you right here is coated with flagging. That's the term that we call this when the cicada female has laid her eggs, and she's caught damage on the tips of the branches. We've got a Circus canadensis, a red bud that's got some damage. We've got a little American plum right here that's got some damage. We have black locusts in the background that have damage. It doesn't look like they've gotten on our native diasporous um, persimmons very much. There's sycamore in the back with a little bit of damage, but all over the place here, we've got damage. So what do you do about it? So look at this little sample behind me. We're gonna walk over here. I brought some pruners with me and I'm gonna show you how to prune. It is good to clean up these uneven wounds. The reason they're breaking is the female has dipped her eggs in deep enough that the branch is a little bit fragile. And actually, she probably likes the fact that it falls to the ground because that's where her babies are going to ultimately fall. But it's nice to clean those wounds up so they aren't open for other bacteria. Nice to have a clean cut. So come on over. Let's take a look. I can just reach this guy. But one of the guidelines for pruning is follow back on the stem. Obviously dead, dead. And I'm going to prune back. And I'm going to prune back to a viable living branch, which would be this one. I do have some little branchlets in here, but they're too small, they're dead. So pruning back to them is useless. So I'm gonna to prune to here. Now, typically, this is not a good spot to prune because my branch that I'm pruning to is should be at more than a third of the size of the main branch. And that little side shoot is a little bit small, but anyway, best to do it at a little bit of an angle you can see, well, this is, it's raining out here, so it's kind of hard to see all the little slit marks in here, but hopefully you've, here on this side, you can view them. In other videos, we've looked at the little slits and we looked at another egg. So let's follow another branch in. So this is dead. I'm gonna go back in to my first side shoot that's healthy, which is this one. And I'm gonna snip, don't make it perfectly flush, but pretty darn close, and I'm gonna nip it off. I jump back up here to the next one. Living, living, dead. Make a little side shoot on an angle. Oh, this is an easy one, because look, I've got, I got a nice side shoot coming off there. So that's an easy one. Snip that dead piece off. Let's do another one here. I know you can't see all these, but you're gonna see my end results. So I'm just cleaning up my edges. Now I do have a problem at the top. Oh, that's a bad side shoot. I'm gonna cut that whole thing off. My leader that branches two ways, it's a forking leader. I'm cleaning up some dead as I go. Uh, this worries me. I do have a side shoot here. So I prune that. And this one has nothing. So I'm gonna take off one of these main leaders all the way back. And this guy I want to not compete as my leader. This is dead. So there, as you can see, I'm pruning off. Ooh, that's another side shoot. I'm gonna take that whole branch off back in here. It's a little out of balance. I need to come in and clean up my dead stuff that is in here. These trees are not very old and they don't have a very vigorous branching system. Oh, look, I broke that one on the way in. But I know that that's a viable stem. I broke that from handling it too rough. So I'm gonna flush, I'm just gonna have to let this guy survive and see who makes a new shoot. I'll clean up all of this dead stuff all up and down and see what I have left. But that's the gist. Do you get the idea? Prune back to a healthy branch. That's really what you're left with. And if you don't do anything, that's okay too, because the tree will just initiate new buds, even if you take no action. But if it's in your yard and it looks bad, go ahead and clean it off a little. So there you go, Master Gardener, some tips on how I prune it.